I'm John Brown at the National Counterterrorism Innovation Technology and Education Center at UNO. According to experts here, political threats against public officials are on the rise. Now the question is, how to identify it and stop it before it's too late? In some ways, this is incredibly shocking as it was for uh, most folks. Sam Hunter with Insight is talking about Saturday's attempted assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump. Hunter researches counterterrorism at Insight and studies events like what happened Saturday. Three days later, Hunter's team is monitoring the reaction and response. The hope is that it remains a single uh, horrible act of violence. Uh, what we'll pay attention to as researchers are uh, changes or shifts in rhetoric, changes or shifts in the types of uh, precursor incidents that may lead up to larger acts of violence. Professor Elizabeth Tice Morris has been teaching political science for decades and calls Saturday's incident concerning. She says the start of a solution to Saturday's incident is to understand what civil dialogue means for the nation. So I think all of us who are who are opposed to violence, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican or an independent, needs to take a step back. And part of that is that we need to learn how to respect people who we disagree with. According to the Polarization Research Lab, those under 30 support partisan violence at a rate three times higher than those over 30. Hunter says it's too early to determine the shooter's motive on Saturday. But ultimately, as academics, we'll also uh, sort of deconstruct what happens uh, in the months and years to come to better understand the underlying factors that drove it. Near 72nd and Pacific, I'm John Brown.